our number two Boston Hollywood show for you FUIs. You have won today because you got a hell of a first hour and a hell of a first and a hell of a show coming for you. We know you wait for this segment. You provide the content directly by your email to us to break down your problems and help your FUI life get in the right direction. And to read the emails, as he always does on this show, the man himself, the one only, Hollywood, Alex. Yeah, and you know what, brother? It's like, <clears throat> excuse, it's like we don't even have, you know, enough time to address all the things that we really could have to address. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get tons of stuff. Tons of articles. I get sent tons of this, that, and the third from everybody who is anybody and sometimes from people who ain't nuts or nobody or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I get tons of articles and, you know, I read a lot of them. And I'm here to tell you that uh, they're bad. But the emails are a totally different beast. They always have been, and I think they always will be, because it just gets, it gives these, uh, the people that we're actually talking about, it gives them a forum for them to uh, express their jacked up situations or wherever they are, or, you know, it, it gives them a chance to express what actually makes them an FUI, and they do not disappoint. Case in point, listener email. Boston Hollywood, it was this 28-year-old female was interested in that I met on what that I met on IG. Things started out great. Three outings and pull up and meet at park. Okay. Calls and texts daily. Okay. Everything was on the up and up. More about her. She has four kids and she works as an independent tax consultant. Wow. I'm 32 and have no kids. She's on an IUD insert but wants more kids, which was cool. Okay. Much more information about that. A few weeks ago, communication began to turn towards non existence. Well, first, let's stop it. You know, that's a big word non existence. I'm proud of you. I would see her posting on Facebook and IG, Instagram, but not communicating with me. I would get a random or token text here and there, but nothing deep like it used to be just superficial surface mess. The communication waned after she asked me to purchase her some tax software and her help and her help out with her credit card bill. Okay, one left. I did it because I thought she was true and had been building something. I confronted her on this on three occasions, and I called out how it was awful suspicious that after I helped her, as she asked me, helped her as she asked me, she got ghost. She claimed in this order. What? <laughs> Up a respiratory infection? Two. Was her kids had her tired? <laughs> Three, hmm, food poisoning. She claimed this, but her ass was already more Facebooking and Instagramming away, but all while trying to use those three excuses for not communicating with me. Okay. We talked, we agreed that we would talk at night after she got off work and she had her kids settled in. I would tell her I'm on my way home as an alert to let her know I'm available to talk. She stated she wasn't a text person, neither was I, but even after my text to alert I'm off, she would still text and not call. I didn't call out of respect for her and the kid and not what was going on on her end. Ultimately, things fizzled out. I shot her a text message trying to initiate conversation. It went unanswered for a week. But I saw her ass posting on an After Dark post in Facebook group. We both in. At that point, I blocked her on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. 
Communication is non-negotiable for me. Non-negotiable for me. Something changed after I helped her. Hmm. I'll chalk it up as lesson learned. Her law. I value me. I ain't gonna let no trick devalue me. I would have moved on quicker, but I thought we were building something and invested in her, and I wanted a return on investment. <laughs> I sent this email not for advice, but for education of the FUI, since I'm not one, but I find you brother show entertaining as hell, Terrence in Detroit. Well, Terrence, I got news for you. I really hate to bust your bubble. <laughs> You're an FUI. Oh, and how? You're an FUI. Okay. Let's start with number one. <laughs> Let's start with this email. <laughs> okay. This email is too damn long. Ain't nobody got time to be reading all that, man. We got a show to conduct. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Now, I will give credit and props to where it is due. Okay, I see proper gam- grammar. Come on, mistake. Make you sound like buckwheat. But proper grammar, I see that. Big word usage shows that you have some type of brain. Okay, is that fair? It is. So what I'm trying to figure out, okay, is why after she told you she had the upper respiratory infection and you saw her on Facebook and Instagram. After she told you what her kids had her tired (laughs) and you still saw her on Facebook and Instagram. After she claimed that she had food poisoning and was in the bathroom boo-booing. Yet, you still saw her on Facebook and Instagram. Why didn't you get the picture then? Okay. You still had to go to something like, oh, uh, instead of recognizing that game for a dude, she's just not into you. You understand? With four kids and you have none. I'm going to say that again. With four kids and you have none. Okay. Why would you then go and take it further by agreeing to talk at night after you got off work? Knowing that she was trying to give you the runaround earlier. Now you're gonna try. You're gonna tell us after being bamboozled, hoodwinked, and everything else that you ain't gonna let no trick devalue you. She just did, dude. She's already devalued your time. Okay, and if she can devalue your time, she can pretty much devalue anything else. That's all you got. But thanks for thinking that you're not. Exactly. You are. <laughs> uh, Terrence in Detroit. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's not player, homie. Anyway, listener email. Here we go. Carlos and Tommy L. Don't know who that is. <laughs> Kansas City <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs did some wild, uh, you know, a broad on Instagram going to tell me it's $25 to DM her. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? When, when did we get to that? Okay. Exactly. WTF. You already know what that means. I already sent her a DM and she say it's $25 to DM her. <clears throat> I'm not paying her trick ass $25 to DM her. Is two broads on Instagram to holler to DM and pay her dumb ass? Who she thinks she is? I blame these new breed of ghetto fied chicken head in rap for this dumb ass mindset. Mac in Miami? Hey, bad. Wasn't good either. Man, he's big mad. Like, and then you gonna just, I mean, you just <laughs> blaming rap chicks for that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, is it, I mean, like, look, he probably got one in his bed right now. He talking about Charlos and Tommy L. Come on, Matt. In my yeah, head. man, what's up with that, yo? And you in Florida, so never mind, you in Florida. Never mind, he's Florida. Then he called us the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> what? 
I don't know. Go figure. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. Ready for the next one? All right. B and H. Okay. I did it. The other day, here we go. The other day at Sonic, I go to get me a meal, and the woman who bringing me my order was very pregnant. Okay. She was waddling away, barely moving, so I met her halfway. When we connect, she was breathing hard. <laughs> I asked her, how far along is she? She said 39 weeks. I asked her why is she still working? She said she was she said she was no PTO and that Sonic only offers unpaid PTO. But once she and the once she had the baby, she gets six weeks off. Hmm. Is that true? She said this is her six oh god. She said this is her six kids by four different dads and she said the dads aren't helpful. Totally a sad situation going on in community more than this young lady. She must do better and these employers must do better. Hmm. I agree. This is kind of where I, you know, this is kind of uh, where I was going earlier and 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 let, let me let me you sent this to me at 10:56 this morning right this, this came in today now how funny is it that i would expound on that very thing talking about my father this evening mhm you know i just got finished discussing that if you're if you're just tuning into the show, which you should not be because you should be here on time and not like CBT or something. Uh, I, I kind of talked about, you know, my dad who's passed on and, you know, you know how he met the everyday challenges and overcame the everyday challenges of being uh, a father and a husband. You understand? And this is kind of what I'm hinting at, what what I was talking about. Uh, Josh and Mobile. Um, I'll put it to you this way. If, if, you know, I don't understand how you can have unpaid PTO, I don't even, you know, I don't even know what that is. Like, if I go on a vacation, you know what I'm saying? I want my income to be, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, it's PTO. PTO means paid time off. I guess they just get time off. They just get two. T.O. But that's horrible. Holy sex. That's horrible. Like, that Sonic? Man, dude. Like, what they got to go through, they should get paid time off. Anytime you're dealing with, like, the public, you know what I'm saying? Like, on that level. Yeah, but that wasn't a bad... That wasn't a bad email. I mean, the one before this one was suspect as hell. But that wasn't a bad email, okay? Maybe we're going to get some hope as I have it. You know what I mean? I see hope. You understand? Now, I'm I'm pretty sure that'll come crashing down soon. But <laughs> yeah. we're not going to jump the gun. We're not going to jump the gun, okay? All right. Boston, Hollywood. For the record. Okay, dude. Here we go. Okay. Boston Hollywood. For the record, I ain't no F-U-I. Yes, you are. <laughs> I just like the show. I know you all used to run Facebook groups. I'm single, man. I'm a few different Facebook... What? I'm a few different Facebook groups. You are? And if it's woman that piques my interest I sent friend request and she and she heard a message I like to be man who is this? oh I can only imagine oh god I knew it 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 but I'm gonna just for the sake of I'm gonna read this okay uh, 
where was I? I sent friend request and she sent her a message. I like to be discreet and not commenting up a storm in case I see another interest. Wow. Some of these want to chat forever or video forever and not give you their number. I think we can get more accomplished talking on the phone and setting up outings. I'm no creep. <laughs> I have a decent job, no drama, no mess, decent credit. It's, wait a minute. And what have you? I know I'm a catch, but all this continuing chat and stuff is forward movement towards an outing to really gauge them. At what point do you all think the chatting by a messenger should stop? And it moved to personal communication on phones and out. Trying to strike the balance of not moving too fast or getting stuck in the chat zone. Let me know the deal. Rob in Virginia. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. He's an F U I. Dude, like <laughs> this dude is really writing us, man, like for real. <laughs> And I mean, he sounds he sounds just as thirsty right here. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, and you can't even make this crap up, bro. Mm -hmm. With Wait. Sean Clay, and I, I can almost guarantee you, he he wrote this with Sean Clay ties on, an ascot, smoker's jacket, and some cargo shorts, and a front row Bentley umbrella. <laughs> like man dude come on man like really that's what we doing yeah <laughs> we got another one brother you see the one by Marcus and Jordan which is terrible too hold on man uh wait a minute uh from Ronte in Birmingham hold on who I'm going to send it to you again. See, we're live here. See, we're live. So, sending it to you right now. Ryan Tay and Birmingham. I got the Rob in Virginia. I just read that one. But, I, I mean, I... I just sent it to you. Ryan Tay and Birmingham. He's okay. terrible. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, what? Marcus and Jordan? Mm-hmm. Look at this mess. I meet this female in a Facebook. Sh that this fool said a Facebook shingles group. What y'all? What y'all gonna discuss? Chicken pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We accept friend requests and start massaging each other. <laughs> I was, I was up straight with her. Really. I'm in Birmingham and she in Atlanta. We two hours away. Oh my god. That fool said. <laughs> hours. <laughs> Last Sunday, me and her meet up. Oh god. This is bad. I drive over to Atlanta to see her Esther. Esther, she got out of church. Oh god. Oh god. This don't make no sense. <laughs> We meet at 10 Lizzie's, a taco place in Atlanta. That's true. 10 we, Lizzie's, I know what that is. But it's spelled wrong. Ooh. Man. We, we had a great time. We was there for hours. And he spells hours like this, like, <laughs> like, O-U-R-S, <laughs> like hours. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Last week, last week, <laughs> I text her in the morning and she text back. What? <laughs> and we go back and forth like Aaliyah. Oh, God. But as for the week, man, this dude is just. <laughs> I'm going to keep rolling. But as for the week, go on, text. Text got less and less, and she leaves me <laughs> read on Friday. <laughs> I ask about meeting on Saturday as we discuss, as we discuss, 
<laughs> on last Sunday, but Nathaniel threw her. Yeah. She can be on Facebook all day and not tech or call me. I'm glad I look after me and I ain't enamel, enamel by females like that. <laughs> they ain't gonna fool me. One day, one loss, one to the next. Too many in the field for me. What is the deal with this common behavior of these females? Common behavior. <clears throat> common for who? Ron Tay in Birmingham. <laughs> Judging by the name alone, the name your name alone is, is like Ron Tay is like slum <laughs> for bad news or something. <laughs> Yeah, why is that? That's, that's all this. I, I don't even know what the hell. I don't even know what the hell I read. Man. I was just reading it because the words were there. Not that it really made any rational sense or anything like that. Like it lasted. I like last Sunday. Give a last last Sunday. We beat them down on Lashley. Lashley. Like what are you talking about, Ron? Say last. Dude, after the after the back and forth, like Aaliyah, I was done. Like. <laughs> <laughs> rest of them are way up and up, up, up there. It's like, yeah, that was that was pretty unbelievable. All the other, uh, oh, you had some more emails? They way up at the top. Um, Let me see if I can, I'm going to try to find them. Uh, Let me see. June, I knew I saw some. Oh, okay, okay, okay. June 18th. June 18th. Let me see. Damn. There's a lot of emails, bro. Yeah. But I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. All Nardo right. me is the first one. I got it. Nardo me and Coleus J. Wilson. Who? What? <laughs> what? Where is he? Where is it coming from? <laughs> where is it coming from? Like, cause I don't know. Okay. The start of the year have been tricky for me. Things be shaken and Tente wants to be shaken. Okay. <laughs> it's been an up and clown roller coaster, roll, roll or caster for me. Dude, you are jacked up. What has me down the most is that my Fiha male hotel moved the taxes on me. I'm not going back, I'm not even going to explain it, dude. Oh, God. To be exact, my Fiha male moved to Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Oh, God. He must be trying to say Houston. <laughs> he got it all the way wrong. Oh, God. I can note. I cannot move with her because I am manager at White Castle here in Ohio. <laughs> you go Ohio. O H I G H Y O. Oh, to be exact, Cloyumbus, Ohio. Cloyumbus, right. There's a no White Castle in Texas. No, there's not. I would not have a job. <laughs> Where they got a white castle in Texas? In my, in where? Shoot, I wish I, I know. I lived in Dallas for years, man. We ain't seen no daggone white castle. Anyway, so I miss her. I really miss her. But did she pee on the phone? <laughs> Why did she move the taxes on me? Maybe because you couldn't sell. <laughs> She's gonna have job from Rome and job from Rome like everyone be during since the virus. What? Oh god. Understand this is that for always and forever. Oh, and no. she won't be my F U I love. What? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Man, man anyway. <laughs> nah. Oh god. Oh, god. This is not Terrell. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God! I love her brothers. 
There's never any questions. She what? She will be my. Oh God. Can you help me get her back? No. I want her back. Advice. Saw hot. Saw hot. Oh God. I'm not giving this fool anything. He done wasted my time with this stupid ass email. AJ at White Castle. (laughs) Stupid devil. Oh God. It's the absolute worst. (laughs) Come on, man. (laughs) Moving on. Damn, idiot. It was just dumb, bro. Very. Boss Klon. <laughs> Boss Klon and Hollywood Elliot. Damn. Right. Greetings, sirs. I am disappointed that I cannot find any KFC buffets nor Pizza Hut buffets. And, dude, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> My flow of money ain't great. Going to these buffets for lunch make my money flow better and I get more cane for my buck. <laughs> cane? <laughs> All you can eat is the way to go. Have you seen the KFC or Pizza Hut buffets? If ho, let me know. If you a ho, <laughs> so I can go. What? Did KFC change the RECP? The RECP? <laughs> to the chicken strips. The RECP? Get out of here. They ain't got got a kick no more. Also, what happened to the barbecue, the honey barbecue wings and the orange slice? Please help me. Freddie at Toyota Plant. Okay, well, Freddie, you are an idiot and you are dumb, <laughs> but look. And you are FUI. But look, I am totally with you because I can't find any KFC buffet, but they used to have a Pizza Hut buffet in Dallas. And it was on Super Point. And I'm talking about it was on point from the pizza to the to the wings, dude. And we had like a like the uh sweet spicy habanero, honey barbecue, garlic parmesan, and lemon pepper. And let me tell you something, they were all on point. Now I don't know what those young people and look. The Pizza Hut, the buffet, nothing but young black folk. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Let me tell you something. Nothing but young black folk. The service was dynamite. Dynamite service. Young and courteous. And we was getting dudes. They was, I think they was, at some point, they was just bringing us plates of wings. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was getting free wings. That's how much, that's how many wings we had, bro. The pizza was off the chain. It was the best tasting pizza I had from a Pizza Hut in a long time. A long time. So, I can understand getting a bang for your buck, getting your money's worth, because, you know, uh, I remember the KFC buffet. I don't know if they have any left. Uh, in, in your email, you were talking about the honey barbecue, the honey barbecue wings. At one time, the honey barbecue wings of KFC was one of, one of the best things I had literally ever tasted. Same here. Those honey barbecue wings were so good, like you could eat the whole thing. I mean, you wouldn't even complain about eating the bone. You just eat the whole thing. Like if they were so good. Yes, they were. Like I used to when I when I was a when I was a junior in high school, I used to literally take the bus from 79th Street to 105th in Western to get some honey barbecue wings, like past the mall and everything, just to get some honey barbecue wings and just to go back home. And I would do this every Friday on like on the weekends. I would go, I would take the bus there, get my 20 piece honey barbecue wings. Go to the video store, get a couple of video games, and go right back home from school and tear those honey barbecue wings up because they were just they were just so good. I mean, it's not like that today, of course, because all good things must come to an end. But I dig what he's saying, even though he did it in a literate fashion, and he's still a FUI. Yes, he is. So, Freddie, you're my nightmare. Anyway. Okay, we have, uh, J- uh, oh, God, here we go. Jamal Boss and Alex Monsoon Monaco. <laughs> Why? Why? 
looking to shave some money at the costly movie theater. Unbelievable. <laughs> and take this chick I meet on POF. Plenty of fish. Oh, plenty of fish. On a, I don't, man, I don't, I don't go to any, I don't deal with any of that crap. On a date, I go to Dollar Tree. I almost sounded like I was got to get some snacks. Shoe the chick. Shoe the chick. Can stow the snacks in the power. And <laughs> he choked me up. And chicks be carry around and stuff. In addition, I went to TJ Fish to get two fish sandwiches, two shoulder, <laughs> shoulder sandwiches, and two burger sandwiches. <laughs> Ooh, I got eight small juices. All do it yourself. So it's worth. What? That can mean the Aldi stuff, bro. The Aldi stuff. That says uh, <laughs> Aldi. Man, that ain't no damn Aldi. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think all is good, but we with fun. Uh, what the hell of the theater do to. Audrey Kurtz. What? I, I ain't reading the rest of this crap. <laughs> Terrible. You can't read this. <laughs> this is stupid. Sean and Nashville, don't ever write me again. Keep it to yourself. Crazy, son. Get out of here. Boom. Out of here, son. Boom. Out of here. That's ridiculous, man. It's, it's, it's not even legible. What kind of crack are you on? <laughs> Ooh, talking about Kushboo R&B in RCA the Don Motor. This is going to be bad, too. I'm going to boom this one. <laughs> I, went to Sonic for, I went to Sonic for lunch to get the burger combo, but <laughs> but Taker Tot? Since when did The Undertaker got a meal at, uh, at, at, at Sonic? <laughs> Who said Taker Tot and a great flush? I'm with you, bro. That great flush is the bomb. God. Especially the one with the nerves in it, right? Yes, indeed. Man, that's a bomb, yo. The flat-backed waiter, the flat-backed <laughs> waiter brought me my food in the bag and stuff. Everything sheen cool until I get back to my desk at work to eat my lunch. I opened the bag instead of tater tots. What? <laughs> I got mar- ma- mach- mach- mozzarella mozzarella sticks <laughs> and match and mozzarella sticks without mar- marinara sauce. <laughs> I had my slush and burger, but not my tater tot. How they messed this up, Ramondre in Mississippi. <laughs> Dude, why are you even sending me an email about that? Oh God. <laughs> I am not I am not in any way, shape, or form concerned about what you are trying to get at Sonic. <laughs> Is that in what since when did you think that that was important? Exactly. <laughs> Is that supposed to be news? Exactly. I'm just giving up on hope. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Boston Hollywood, let me share with you the horror story of my experience with the extra broad from with the with the extra broad from hell. Okay. We had one prior date at club for Friday night, happy hour and free buffet. I should have known this ultimately was this ultimately was going to go bad. Was, what? Was go bad after she was complaining about the one crab leg per plate at the free buffet. And it didn't register at the time. Things were going well between her and I, so I decided to take her out of town to the beach for her birthday. So I arrived at her house the night before the trip. All bad signs from two women who project a certain lifestyle on social media. Okay. The shower was Negro rigged. The Roku's on the floor. The towel bar was Negro rigged. 
anything. But what's up with the Negro rigging? The toilet had to be flushed from inside the bowl. So the horribleness begins. Breakfast, she serves me a food I told her on day one I was allergic to. We drive down, get to the beach town, take her to the restaurant. She was being extra about the bread, food, and drink, and waiter not coming fast enough. The waiter kind of shot a look at me. Didn't stop there. Okay. Uh, where am I at? Didn't stop there. Next day, she was being extra at the beach, complaining about the sand and people on the beach. She was being extra at the beach restaurant. We went to seven spots before landing on a spot suitable to her. Following day, she was being extra at the Waffle House. What? Damn. Dollar Tree, Walgreens, Chipotle by complaining and making over-the-top requests for the real, for for the no real reason at all. (laughs) Damn. At the hotel, she claimed to hate trash and clutter. But the room was trash and cluttered due to all the mess she brought. It's serious. Ooh. She had to put on a lashes and makeup just to go eat breakfast and get coffee downstairs. She spent countless hours taking selfies for social media, especially TikTok and Snapchat. She had so many rules about sex that I just asked her, can I do, I, I just asked her, can I do, since there's so many things I couldn't do. Okay. Finally, we get ready to leave. I went to Walgreens. Walgreens to the medicine. I'm dri- I'm driving already, thinking that this is the first and last trip we've gone on. She reveals that she was mad I didn't stop on the way down, and makes mention that I'm passing all the food places and didn't ask her if she wanted anything to eat. I told her she opens her mouth about everything else. She just had to ask me to stop. <clears throat> I decided I wasn't stopping unless she asked me because I was tired of her. We didn't speak on a ride back. We got all the way back, and she didn't ask me to stop. When we got to her house, she said that she didn't need my help bringing her stuff in the house. She didn't even say thank you for the trip or bye to me. She all in her feelings. Can you give me thoughts on my situation? It was wild and crazy. I just need someone else's unbiased opinion. Jordan and Georgia. <coughs> Count your blessings, idiot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because it seems to me, with all the shenanigans she was pulling, being extra here and there, you, it seems like you're not the type of person who likes who like extra. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, uh, you're dodging a bullet? Like, what else do you want to hear? Great. I mean, even though you won't suck at the stand, you stay a little bit too long, and this email is too long and exemplifies that. <laughs> what the hell are you thinking about? But I mean, like I said, count your blessings, man. You got your bullet. If she gonna be, if she's being extra at somewhere like Walgreens, she'll be extra anywhere. Exactly. So I mean, whatever. Okay. Oh, the God. Honorable Don Trez Moss Muhammad. <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I forgot what I was reading almost. <laughs> Honorable Don Trez. I thought this was the final call. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. Like, uh, the Honorable Don Trez Moss Muhammad and the Honorable Jamil Albertson Muhammad. <laughs> I come to you, brothers, in pieces. Well, you need to put your ass back together again and get the stuff. Oh, I'm asking that you all bring the show to our city. To up just the mask to up what whatever. <laughs> Your cow is uno of a kind and is needed to delegate the brothers and sisters in the city. We need the knowledge that I know you brothers have. Our people are struggling, encouraging. Oh God. From you all is what our people. What our people what? <laughs> we will be lighted to have that as people like you all to teach us knowledge of shelf with shelf love we will have nourishment prepared in the after gathering in an adult building let's set this up for the Rashan Al Malik in Dallas wow 
<laughs> well, there's nothing to set up. It's not like you'll be able to write down the directions of where you're going to be properly. <laughs> mess around. You and Dalton mess around and wind up in Dixon Circle somewhere getting shot at. Or in commerce. Or Dick. Or, or Prosper. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Talking about it. Get out of here, man. Brother. It only gets worse from here. Oh, God. Navy Boo and Point Karen Simu G. What? Oh, God. Back to. Oh, Lord. Do I have to read? Whatever. Back to life, back to reality. The world is changing and becoming new normal. What? <laughs> All I do is think of her and she stays on my mind. I told her my love is the sh- and bomb baby, bomb baby. Oh, hell. When I told her that I told her that I was living for the love of her, oh, yes, I was. Wow, we making sweet love. What kind of stupid <laughs> crap is this? Exactly. These ain't nothing but songs. Man, I'm not reading this goofy crap. Please. I'm emotional. We're not making love. Man, shut up. <laughs> LLJ, not LLJ, at Vulgar Kang. What? <laughs> I couldn't even read it. He's for his old damn job. At Vulgar Kang. Vulgar Kang. Really? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I mean, this is just the stupidest thing I've ever read. Like... <laughs> Why? Woo-wee. This is this is stupid, man. Like, this is ridiculous. Very. Like, oh, who sends anything like that? <clears throat> Boston, Hollywood, Tree, Ellick. Okay. What do y'all do for a living? I know this FWI stuff can't be your main for a living thing. Inform me, Negroes, Raymond, and Kansas City. I'm uh, me. Uh, I'm, I'm a pimp. <laughs> now I'm know what I did for a living. Now I'm a free hustler, Yo, Raymond. Huh? Now I'm a free hustler, Raymond. Oh yeah, bro. Like I don't have I don't have the stomach for the street pharmacist thing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm good with hell. So you know, I have to use my I have to use what I got to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I I, I decided that uh, I decided that I do a, the uh, the community, you know what I'm saying, the solid, and just start pimping. You know what I'm saying? You know, I bring the money back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? By sending my house to work in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And plus the hood gets blessed. You dig? Whatever. Raymond in Kansas City. Now you know what I do. Ridiculous. Hey, that was an FUI answer for an FUI, right? Yes, it was. Wuzzy and Muzzy. See? Mm-mm-mm. I've noticed that they writing follicles, writing follicles about this <laughs> boss character. Who is this boss character? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see the follicles on the show site, but I don't know this Pearson. I know the show is ran by you, Wuzzy, and Muzzy, but they writing follicles about this boss Pearson. Explain to me the deal. I see four follicles about this guy. Thanks. Terrell Rashad at Subway and QT. I see why you're there. Uh, yeah. Huh? I see why he's there. Yeah. Um, well, let me elaborate on it. Shut up. Next email. <laughs> Boss in Hollywood. Look, my jeans. I ran into an effed up situation with this woman. I got caught up being nice. You may call me sucker for it, but whatever. Sucker. <laughs> I met this heifer on Instagram. Everything was cool initially. On day three, this chicken head asked me could I cash that her $200 to help her with her insurance. That sounds familiar. <laughs> being nice, I did it. On day five, she asked me could I get her some Uber Eats from a wing spot? Being nice, I would assume that, you know, that's the word he left out. I did it. On day six, it was our regularly scheduled first date. 
I picked her up from her apartment. We out, had a great time. I was feeling all over her and shit, okay? Dropped her off. She acted like she didn't want to kiss. Said it was too early to kiss. Okay, whatever. All right, let's move to day eight. I'm getting, well, excuse me, I'm getting my oil changed at the dealership and try to FaceTime her. She declined, stating that it's too soon for me to see her without her wig and makeup. What? Damn. Okay. I'll come back to this. All right. Bet. I was dreaming about the too soon mess, and I decided to test her and see if she would lie. I asked if she had Facebook. I already knew she had one, and she said she didn't. So I screenshotted and sent it along with my thoughts on how it's too soon to kiss or see you on FaceTime without makeup, but it wasn't too soon to ask me for $200 to help you with insurance to get some Uber Eats. All the broad said was, okay, what? So at that point, I blocked. I've learned my lesson, but I like your thoughts on this. I don't know what thoughts you want. I'm just glad you came to your senses. Because yeah. it looks like you're the trick. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll never catch me on day three of meeting any chicken head. You know, because, I mean, it's always going to come to that. Like, if you really dating a chicken head, like, you really dating a rat just, 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 squeak, just, just squeaking and, and, and sneaking, finances are always going to come up. And usually, sooner than later. So she, you should have known what this was from jump, man. And you just got, I mean, you got played a little, wasn't a lot. You know what I'm saying? She got that money out you. Take it as a loss. Keep it moving, fool. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, listen to her email. Uh, Booth in Holly, Hollywood, Ireland. Right, really. It's just stupid. Yo, I was kept, and yeah, I, I, I can believe that. I was catfished by this trick I met on Facebook group. It wasn't the normal catfish course. <laughs> we go out, everything cool and all. I go to the spot to get with the business like my, my man fight. Oh god. He done already he done already messed up. <laughs> I don't I don't have to go any further, but I will. This is where it turns, this Jezebel was wearing a whole ass BBL shapewear fit the whole damn thing. She got the curse to be a presser. <laughs> she ain't got no kind of... <laughs> she ain't got no kind of curse to figure out that backside flat as the highway. <laughs> I'm joking. That was hilarious. The curse of the oppressor. <laughs> That's what she's thinking. I'm thinking I would get some fig chick and I got some figureless heifer. What did she expect? She she guys gonna want that horrible figure she got under that shapewear. This is ridiculous as hell. Read my email show. Pick my email, Devin and Memphis. Well, we read your email, you imbecile. <laughs> we picked it. And we, we didn't have to pick your email. It, it, I mean, it's just here. Like <laughs> it was. Just, it was just your turn. Right? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're dodging a bullet, too. But uh, the thing about this is, like, you listen to Pipe? Bad. Bad. Ain't nothing more. There's nothing more FUI than that. Listening to Pipe. Like, that, that threw me. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Brother Jahar Malay to Kudimo Aziz. What? What is up with these Muslim ass names? Brother Unel Hollywood Muhammad. Brothers, I am dating the opposite being outside of the nation. What is that? <laughs> she is not grounded in the teachings and principles of the honorable Elijah Muhammad. She is core parenting a dog animal with her ex date they stole from a low call park. <laughs> a low call she needs the ex to drop off the dog animal and lose it. Why can you just say dog? <laughs> yeah. 
dog and a meal in neutral locations. What is really troubling is that the ex FaceTimes the dog and sings the nursery rhymes and lullabies to get it to go to sleep. It has its own room in her blanket. And she puts a blanket on it to sleep. I can't even stick my rod in her box until it's sleep. I'm becoming disenchanted with the situation. What should I do? Brother Sam in Chicago. Well, I would say kill yourself, but, you know, we want to keep it true. I don't know what you should do. I, I know that you need hooked on sponsors. So you're an idiot. It, why, why is it the, why is it the, 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 the good, you know, why are those teaching this brother how to read? Man. <sighs> Let's start there. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad wants to know how to read, sir. Well, yeah, like, first of all, like, I would figure before you could even qualify to join that nation that you would have to know how to read. That would be one of the requirements. I would not these two guys. And I'm not teach. talking about the religious aspect of the re- uh, of of the religion, but the business aspect of the religion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, who knows? <clears throat> Uh, oh, I'm gonna read this one. Boston, Hollywood. I will admit I should have saw the signs, but I didn't. It was this woman I started talking at my old job right before I left. We had some decent conversations. Found out about her troubled marriage, flirtations with her after. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's very churchy. Should have been a red flag. Yes, should have. Once again, I should have known better in talking to her. I could she was dingy overall, been conditioned by church and lacked overall smarts, especially street ones. She sent me some pictures. They they all at some angles to project something that it wasn't. <laughs> so I agreed to see her. I was going through a drought, so I hit her I so I her hit up. This pulls up to the spot with her short, fast, fat cousin. And then her with her tall, flat booty self with poorly drawn on liner and makeup. What? <laughs> the whole time we were there, she rehashing our previous chats with her cousin, like the cousin is quizzing me. I made up my mind I'd never see her again. I never met her in person because we all worked from home. Her pictures were misleading and she conversation was painful in addition bringing a third wheel unannounced. I think I did right. What say you? Eric at Marriott Bonvoy. Nice hotel. At Marriott Bonvoy? What's this? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you did I right, know, idiot. Still. Still F- yeah, idiot. I mean, like, that's a given. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it seemed like you didn't even like her. Talk about she pulls up, pulls up to the spot with her short fat cousin and then her with her tall flat booty self like uh, dude <clears throat> what the what, what's going on I don't know man it's FUI stuff I, I don't know some crazy this one. Okay. Ron Savage and Michael E. Sampson the dummy on the Instagram is mad because I ain't hard on her no more See, look, I tried to get at her in a DM. We chat words back and forth like a leaf. Dude, uh-uh. Uh-uh. We, we not doing this. We not doing this. What's singing about? So I tried to sit up an outing and then drift my number on her. The dummy read it, but do not respond. I idiot, I say, so I've seen the DM and seen another, and the dummy responds. I tow out some ops for us to try to go. Bro, I say she don't like them. So I tell her to pick and she don't respond. Stupid. But now, three weeks later, she come at me like, you ain't interested no more. I ain't heard from you in three weeks. What the, what the deal? She can't be serial, can she? <laughs> it's serial. <laughs> she ain't answer me, but doing that, I ain't responding. She ain't playing me. F her, Dante and Avis, lead car washer. Sounds about right for a lead car wash at Avis. Sounds about right. What? <laughs> lead car wash. Stop. 
this is the last one right here, bro. Uh, like, thank well, God. Oh God, dude. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Okay, Jacob and Eric. Let me know what you think. So I meet this female on Twitter. I was in a local Twitter space with her and reached out privately. We text and stuff. I call her. It would always ring and go to voicemail, and she sent a message that she would call me back. She never did. Now, we did a date on Seafood Spot last Saturday. Set up, she claims you see why they claim shortly. But she claimed that her eighth unit went out, and that she had to wait for them to come out, and she had to cancel the date. Okay, fine, whatever. We were scheduled for this past Saturday, so about two hours before the date. She claimed that she had had a blowout of a tire in Firestone Mobile with the coming sixes. Then she claimed she was in a bad traffic for a long, dang, man, for a long period of time. Not mind, I was sitting in the car being patient, giving her benefit of the doubt. So I could give an alternative route based on where she told me that, she, where she told me she was at. So she parked. So she claimed she's about to park. I was hungry. I went on to order me some food. 55 five minutes later, she ain't in the restaurant. I figured she'd been lying the whole damn time and then wasted my time two Saturdays in a row. This is a messed up mess. Some shenanigans like that. Just say you don't want to go out with me or whatever, but don't waste my time in lie like that. And I definitely dodge bullets. I hate my time and gas. We're wasting. Hoping to meet someone better in the near future. Rashad and Houston. Uh, yeah, you hit the nail on the head, homie. And please don't write us anymore. <laughs> please these long ass emails and they all about tricks they all about these uh, these cats tricking off <laughs> Sammy, what's going on there for y'all world my brother like what is going on man man i'm glad that's over dude look yeah this show was the bomb but man you get a headache you have to treat yourself after you do that man yeah crazy <sighs> like like we like cr- crazy like, like for real. <laughs> you want to run through some headlines before you close close up sharp up to just to, to get to get as far away from these emails as possible, dude. Let me see if I can find some. Jesus, goodness gracious, you have. We got some crazy headlines. Just like I was saying, uh, McDonald's now offering a catering service for weddings. Mm. Master P calls out Google for mistaking him for Luther Vandross. That slipped my wig. How are they going to mistake Master P for Luther Vandross? And Luther Vandross has passed away. <laughs> okay, Florida Japanese Steakhouse closes doors to customers test positive. As customers test positive for meth. Florida. Okay. Mail delivery paused in Texas town after next nesting hawks and attacking people. Okay. Massachusetts woman discovers man hiding under a jacket in her back seat. Screaming a screaming match ensues. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that's it. Florida girl awarded $800,000 after McDonald's chicken nuggets scalded her. I remember that. Great hustle. Dwight Howard reportedly sued by neighbor after she crashed into one of his cows. Jesus. What? Wow. Man spends one, what is it? Uh, What's 8,000? Okay, yeah. Man spends fourteen thousand on lifelike collie costume. I'm done. Okay. Georgia mother says a restaurant served her children alcoholic drinks at birthday dinner. Yeah, I'd be pissed. Taco Bell sued for falsely advertising the amount of beef used in some menu items. I can see that. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I can believe that too. Georgia teen facing charges after texting friends she had been shot as a prank. Mm. Bronx car theft crew responsible for three million in auto theft 
busted after posting cash and cards on social media. Still don't believe social media will get your ass in trouble? You better think again. Exactly. Burger King, who never missed work in 27 years, receives over $400,000 in donations after going viral on TikTok last year. That's a long time. Okay. White North Carolina apartment manager charged for assaulting, pouring soda on black children at swimming pool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Former Family Feud contestant who jokes he regretted marrying wife, sentenced to life in prison for killing her. Oh, wow. Okay, here's a real one right here. Boston doctor arrested for masturbating in front of a mm. 14-year-old girl on Hawaiian Airlines flight. Really? Dude, come on. Tiffany had us launching dating show featuring women who are dating home. Women who are dating homeless men. <laughs> Everyone deserves to have someone supporting them. Why? Wow. Okay, that's not going to last. Okay, I give it a week. <laughs> Two cookie stuff. Conservative with triple K's, Oklahoma with triple K's, school with triple K's, superintendent tells teachers to deny racist Tulsa massacre. Mm-hmm. I can cool. imagine. Yeah, right. Larsa Pippen is apparently traumatized after Michael Jordan admitted that he doesn't approve of her dating his son. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Pigs on patrol. Los Angeles Sheriff's deputy punches black mother in the face while she's holding her infant. It's not a surprise. Not like it hasn't happened before. Okay, yeah. these pigs are out of control. Exactly. Jim Crow, Alabama legislature ignores SCOTUS orders to draw second majority black congressional district. Mm. Louisiana got that same issue coming up too. Huh? Louisiana got the same issue coming up too. Louisiana, same issue. Right. And I read that I read the crap that uh that Clarence Thomas was writing. Like that dude is King Coon 101. Right? He's a sambo of all sambos. Oh my god. Okay, uh F twelve fugitive. Josh Jocelyn Hernandez shades police about arrest warrant for fighting cops. Not even the beat can catch. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right. Yikes. Lizzo's ex dancer filed lawsuit accusing singer of weight shame and false imprisonment and forced performance of sex acts with banana. I heard about that. Lizzo yeah. of all people. Judge Joe mm-hmm. Brown called her Lizzo the hippo. <laughs> but Kanye, and, and here's the funny part, Kanye West spoke on her not not too long ago. Like how she was bad, like literally like a detriment towards the community. Just to come to find out he was right. Okay. Gracious Groceries. Grabber Lil Meach denies Summer Walker cheating rumors. Claims he was helping his cousin bring bags in the house. <laughs> okay. Right. Caught in 4K. Funniest reactions to Lil Meach claiming he was helping his big booty cousin with groceries amid Summer Walker cheating rumors. Oh my God. The plot thickens. Lizzo previously gushed about how badly she wanted to attend Freaky Banana Sex Show in Amsterdam. Ah! All right, here's the last one. Uh, super Freaky Grandpa. Suspected Horny Hive member Richard Lawson trends over alleged Twitter likes and amid Tina Knowles Lawson divorce, emerged as potential mayor of Poundtown. Yeah, and I heard about their divorce. Like, uh, I believe that she's only meant to be with one person, and that's Matthew. Mm-hmm. And y'all together for an eternity. You know In what I'm saying? That's just what I think. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not going to go right until she. Until her and Matthew patch it up. And Hollywood, I want to address this too. Did you buy a story where the baby in Atlanta got decapitated doing delivery? What? Yes, it, it's the original hospital where my ex works. Okay. There's a law student accusing an adoptive decapitating the baby doing delivery and covering it up. You know, the baby you? coming down the wrong kind of breach and 
kind of pulled it out, out pull it out of her the vaginal way rather than get him a because she was 20 years old. I guess she didn't want to cut her open, but she had to decapitate the baby. She had to cover it up. So the reason why she was in Atlanta. The funeral home told them that the baby was decapitated because the hospital wouldn't let her hold her dead baby. Told her that she could only look at it. She couldn't touch it. It was covered up with that day that the doctor decapitated the baby. Wow. That is just amazing. And I can almost imagine the horror that the, I mean, how are you going to try to cover it up? Unfortunately, that's one of the ghetto hospitals in, in, in Atlanta, unfortunately. They're the lowest on low. They're like, dead. Yeah, like for real. Like, they serve with Medicaid. Oh, wow. if you, huh? They, they serve with the poor with Medicaid, no insurance, each care, so they don't care. And they show it in Right, effort. right. I, I don't believe it. That's just, that's just unreal. That's and horrible. You remember that story about the, the movie The Blind Side? Yeah. Did you hear about how the, the, the players said the white family tricked them into a conservatorship to make millions off of it? Yes. Terrible. Yeah, but I mean, bro, I mean, I, <laughs> you is like you would hate to say that you're surprised, but I mean, I mean, you would hate to say that you're not surprised, but you're not surprised. Because I'm not. I mean, it's just a shame. Like, that, you know, I mean, this is the world that, this is just the world we live in, bro. Anything for a buck. Yes. And anything for a buck. And we was on this years ago, brother, but they're Walmart's relaunching Walmart liquor stores. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I saw the picture. <laughs> Shit, what what they gonna do? Like I saw the picture. Like next they gonna be putting a. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, what what you gonna catch next? If you like a like a, a a Waffle House on top of a Walmart, that's coming too. That's coming too. They're gonna have a Wall Waffle merger. Like it's gonna be called the Awful House. It will be. All marts are better enough. Dude, I can't. Waffle House on top of it, way worse. I can't tolerate Walmart. Like I just, I just can't. I just can't. I can't deal with it. Like you know, my wife. Yeah, like that's like her favorite store. But I, I just can't. It's a hard bop going in that place, bro. Yeah, well, Hollywood. Have you heard it before? We now have a water burger in Atlanta and in and burger, right? They have right. the police directing traffic into the water burger and in and out burger. What? Yes. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, man. Going to pot, bro. You know what I, you know what I kind of feel? At least they, that's, that's more or less cops on the streets that can kill our people. At least right. on the surface street. There, eight, so it's eight and all. It's four at each restaurant. They can d- work the traffic for a water burger in and out burger. But I've never seen police have to direct traffic into a food place. Uh, in a fast, uh, that a fast food place. And you said directing traffic? Yes. Oh, man, let me bust your head. Okay. Uh, in the little town... I work in. It's called Karen Crow, Louisiana. You can look it up. They have a restaurant that's literally right down the street from the company that I work for. And a lot of times, we get them to cater our events, right? They have a police escort at their restaurant. Want to know why? Because at lunchtime, everybody in their mama jams up the street to go get a plate lunch. Well, here's the bad thing about that. There's a small town with one roundabout. Nobody knows how to use it, okay? So when they line up at Sonia's, you understand? 
we have to wait in traffic. Now, around that time, I'm getting off because I have to be to work. I'm at work at 3.30. You understand? So around that time, I'm getting off and can barely get home or have to wait. I have to take an alternative route at that time. You understand? Now, if I'm getting out before 12, it's straight. You understand? But anytime near or after, dude, you in trouble. You ain't going home. And police have to direct them in the parking lot just to make sure, you understand, that nobody gets shot over a plate of yam. <laughs> I can see it. Dude, it's on another level, man. Like, there ain't gonna lie, the food is the bomb. The food is the bomb. But <clears throat> having a line that long on an, in, 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 on an industrial road, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, where they have companies, like, you understand? <clears throat> People trying to get to work. It's horrible. Yes. Yes, sir. Well, Hollywood, before we wrap up, what are your thoughts on this special and <laughs> what we covered <laughs> in these past couple of hours? I don't know. It gave me a damn headache, man. But, I mean, it is what it is. When we do this show, we know we know what the heck we're getting into, and we just take it in stride. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's going to have the same type of intellect. That's why we have FUR. That's why we have cats like Rob Zombie. You know what I'm saying? Leading the pack. That's why we, you know what I'm saying? That's why we do this stuff, you know? We do it whatever we do it. Now, true indeed, my schedule right now is demanding, so we can't do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could go to war with you guys all the time, but that's not my current reality. So we pick the most special of occasions that we can, and I think it actually makes what we're doing most more special. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's worth the wait. So, you know, all in all, it's the FUIs that make the show. We don't have any FUIs. You understand what a better world we live in, but, you know, there'll be no need for the show. We're just glad that we can have a forum to talk about these idiots with at all. Because on one hand, it's entertaining. On the other hand, it's absolutely pitiful. You know, but I mean, that's not too far from the world we live in. So that's my take on that. But well, just like I said, I, I'm appreciative for the forum. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, rest in peace, Pops. You the man. I know you watching over us. And I know you laughing at the FUIs too, because I, I know I am. Yes. That's yes. it. Yes, indeed. Well, Hollywood, I uh, know my schedule's getting but get basketball, football going, so it's demanding as well. We well, wish you a happy 48th birthday in advance. Thank uh, you, my brother. Keep on, do, keep on knocking the FUIs out. We'll keep on hustling and grinding. At some point in time, we're leading the new year. We'll figure something out to do a special for you FUIs. But this should hold you over for a few months, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hey, it is what it is. You never know, my brother. We'll keep them guessing. No doubt. Brother Hollywood, thank you as always. Thank you, FUYs and folks. Uh, Boss Hollywood signing off. Have a great everything. And we are out. Peace. And if you don't know, now you know.